Schools that don't reopen their doors for 70 days this school year could lose some funding from the state. That's if a new bill proposed in the state's special session passes. Heather Wallaga joins us now with more on what's happening at the Capitol. Good morning. Abby, good morning. Well, schools must meet that 70 day goal and return to the classroom for the full 180 days next school year if they want to keep all their funding. State leaders say they want every district back in person now because they believe it will improve student learning. Meantime, critics say children should stay virtual due to rising COVID-19 numbers. Governor Lee says schools need to do what research says is best for students. Kids do better in school. We know that parents know that. And that's why I'm so proud of our districts who have kids in school. And to those that remain closed, I would offer this simple encouragement. Follow the science. Other bills being considered could increase the salary for all teachers in the state, require counties to place a full time nurse in every school, not count t state tests in a teacher's evaluation this school year, and set a statewide grading scale for schools when reporting a student's grade to colleges. Right now, all of these bills are in committees. We'll keep you updated on their progress as they move forward.